Tonight at 530, an IPS school is now putting its focus on visual and performing arts. All of this is part of the school district's Rebuilding Stronger plan. Our Anna Chalker shows us how James Whitcomb Riley School is helping kids explore the arts. For Grandparents Day at James Whitcomb Riley School 43, grandparents watch their grandkids on everything new the stage and performing arts classrooms. And so I'll just allow you to be able to explore the spaces. These additions are part of the district's Rebuilding Stronger referendum. The district spent $5.5 million to turn this elementary school into a performing arts school. It was just an offering for our students to expand what we already have here with our core classes, but to provide a way that students could be engaged in learning. As one of two performing arts schools in the district, there are new dance, theater, and organ orchestra classes. Principal Chriselle Sam says students have already found unique ways to express themselves this year. And when students have an opportunity to select what it is that they want to do, we know that it just brings about pride. While you'll see traditional classrooms here inside the school, this dance studio is just one of the many new additions because of that Rebuilding Stronger initiative. And school leaders tell us the reasons they've created these spaces is to give students the resources they may not have had in their neighborhoods. And so what we see and what we feel in this space from our students, from our parents and from our staff is truly joy and excellence. Everyone is engaged in the arts and finding ways to explore and to showcase their creativity. Fourth grader Sanila Turner Toll says she found a love for dance and music this year. They make me feel creative and confident. Confidence school leaders hope every student feels through this curriculum. In Indianapolis, Anna Chalker, 13 News. And the IPS Rebuilding Stronger Plan includes several elementary and middle schools in the district. Voters approved the $410 million referendum last year, and schools, schools put the money towards improving curriculum and athletics.